Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 steps that you can take to go from beginner to millionaire. So stick around because these steps are not just theory, they're practical things that you can do straight away to become a millionaire. Step number one, begin by setting yourself some financial goals. Where do you want to be in the next five, 10, 15 years? My first financial goals were to become out of debt and get my first 10 thousand pounds that is the first goal i had and i went absolutely crazy to make sure i sold everything i could made sure i worked as much as i could i saved as much as i could to get to that goal so it's good to have financial goals if you do not have financial goals you do not have anything to work towards so you need to start by step one and making sure that you have financial goals what is important in your life what is your ultimate financial goal can you make that first step how do you eat an elephant is one bite at a time so just think about that first step, that first bite. What is the first goal that you need to get to to become a millionaire? To guide you, your first step should be to get out of debt. Get out of debt, barring your mortgage, get out of debt. No more debt, nothing owed to any businesses, family members, no one. You don't owe anything. Get yourself out of debt. Go absolutely crazy to get yourself out of debt. Step number two is increase your pension contributions. If you've watched my channel before, you know that increasing your pension contributions is one of the biggest things that you can do to become financially free, become a millionaire. The reason why this is one of the best things that you can do is because in the UK, your company that you work for usually matches your pension. So this is free money that you're not accessing if you have not increased your pension contributions to the maximum that your employer will match back. So you need to do this. It's free money that you are missing out on. You might think, oh, there's no such thing as free money. This is free money that you are missing out on. So match your pension contributions with your employer. That is step two. Step number three is intentional spending. Have you ever gotten to the end of the month and realized where has all my money gone? This is because you are not intentionally spending. If you intentionally spend from when you get paid, you assign a job to that money. You say money, these are your orders. This is the job that you need to do this month by the end of the month where your money has gone you gave your orders and it carried out those orders for example on payday you can say 20 percent of the money i order you to go into my savings 50 percent of the money i earn i order you to go into the things that i need my rent my mortgage my fuel my food my gas my electric i order you to go into those things 20 percent of my salary i order you to go into the things to entertain me, to bring joy to my life, to go on date nights, to have fun with my family and friends. I order you money to go into that pot and carry out that order. At the end of the month, you then have got everything that you need. You've saved for your future. You've enjoyed your life. You have enjoyed your time with your family and friends. You have to give that order at the start of the month. If that money runs out before the end of the month, say for example, the enjoyment section runs out, then fair enough, it's run out wait till next month if you get to the end of the month and you've still got that enjoyment section of your money still remaining you are forced to go and enjoy it you have to go think of something to go and enjoy that money so give your money orders intentional spending on payday not wondering where all your money has gone when you come to the following payday get yourself a grand i don't care how you do this get yourself a grand Get yourself a £1,000 emergency fund. I don't care if you work overtime for the next month. I don't care if you go work for Uber, have a side hustle. I do not care. I don't care if you go and sell everything in your house, downgrade your car, downgrade your house. Get yourself £1,000. This is super important on the road to becoming a millionaire. The reason why this is important is because life gets in the way. Something will happen in your life that you cannot foresee. A black swan event will happen in your life you cannot see right now but it will happen so just to know that it's going to happen something is going to happen and be prepared for that is something that you have to do your car might break down your boiler might break down these are some important things that you need that 1000 pounds for that is there to protect you it's there to protect you from debt is there to protect you from loans if you're finding yourself going on a payday loan website this is a problem if you have the 1000 pounds it protects you from that when you have loans, it holds you back from becoming a millionaire. If you know how your net worth works, 
when you have debt that has a negative impact on your net worth and the interest on that debt will drag you down. Shielding yourself from that debt is what you have to do. I don't care how you do it, get 1,000 pounds. You just have to go absolutely batshit crazy and get 1,000 pounds. Step number five, I told you in step number one to set your goals and one of my goals was to get out of debt completely. I got out of debt, I've never been back in debt. But step number five is get out of debt. Like step number four, where I told you to go and get a grand, step number five is got absolutely nuts crazy to get out of debt. Again, debt holds you back. The interest on debt brings you down. When you want to become a millionaire, when you want to become rich, debt is holding you down. And it, not only is it holding you down, it's dragging you down even further. So get out of debt. Avoid that negative interest on your net worth. Get yourself a grand, get out of debt. These are hugely important things if you want to become a millionaire. At this point, you may be feeling some anxiety around this debt and this challenge of becoming a millionaire. I want you to take a deep breath, stick with me. Get to this point, get out of debt, go absolutely crazy. Tell your friends and family, I am getting out of debt. I'm going absolutely nuts, crazy to get out of debt. This is hugely important. These are my goals. Hey, friends and family, these are my goals. Please respect my goals. This is my goals. These are my priorities in life. I'm getting my emergency fund and I'm getting out of debt. Once you're here, once you're past step five, you can begin to grow. What you're doing up until this point is stopping yourself from shrinking. You need to grow after step five. After this point, you can grow. So you've got £1,000. You've increased your pension contributions and that money is invested in the stock market. You're getting out of debt. Once you've completed these, then you can start growing. You may want to start growing beforehand, but these are first steps will keep bringing you down and you need to get rid of those so you can grow and prosper in life and become a millionaire. If you find these videos helpful, if you find them motivational or a great guide to follow, then please do not forget to click the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can follow all my future videos on becoming financially independent and retiring early becoming a millionaire, becoming successful, whatever your goal is, you can customize it around yourself. Whatever you want to do, hit that notification bell and also share this video as well. There's probably a lot of people out there that want the same information as well that can get the same amount of help out of this video that you're getting right now. Step number six, you must invest before you spend. This is key. A lot of people will say, I will invest what is left at the end of the month that is in my salary. Well, spoiler alert, at the end of the month, there will be nothing left. There never is. A human brain works that way. A human brain sees how much is left. If you've got loads of money left at the end of the month, you've got a week left. You're just going to go and spend it because you have the money left. You must invest first. You must pay yourself first. This is very important. The day you get paid is the day the money goes out of your account and goes into your investment. The way the human brain works is you won't realize that money has gone when you are going through the month and you're spending things on your wants and needs at the end of the month you will not realize the money has gone because it went at the start of the month and your brain has been conditioned to realize how much money you have on day two after you've been paid for the rest of the month your brain is conditioned to know how much money you have left if you try to invest at the end of the month it's not going to happen you will always spend it if you invest at the start of the month you will remain consistent. You will pound cost average. I recommend that you invest at the start of the month and you invest a minimum 10% of your income. If you get £100 a month in income, then £10 is going into investment. If you've got £1,000, then £100 is going into investment. Get it, customize it to however much income that you are getting in your household income. A minimum, again, keyword minimum, a minimum of 10%. If you can up it, play it, treat it like a little game. It's really cool. Play it like a game. Start at 10%, try and get it to 12. I've been playing this game for quite some time. At the moment, I've managed to get my investing, saving and investing rate to 44.6%. And I intend to keep growing that and keep trying to get more and more income coming in so I can up that savings rate. The savings rate is the most important thing that you can do to become financially independent, to become a millionaire. Compounding effect, the compounding interest on your savings and investments that you can keep dollar cost averaging into your investments every single month is the biggest impact that you can get, the biggest predictor of becoming a millionaire. 
You can start your saving and investing today by clicking the link below and going to Trading212. There is loads and loads of options for your investments. If you've absolutely no idea what you're doing, a great investment to follow is an index fund, which is the S&P 500. That is a top 500 companies in America. That is a really good one to start with. After that, keep educating yourself. By clicking the link below, you will get a free share worth up to £100. Absolute bonus. You may as well go for it. Click the link below. Join up to Trading212 today. Step number seven is educate yourself on money and finances. There are so many books that you can read that are out there that you can read to educate yourself. A couple of books off the top of my head. Let's go. The Richest Man in Babylon. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The Psychology of Money. These are just a few, just straight off the top of my head. I didn't even plan to tell you what books are good. But those are a few of my favorite books. I read those once every single year. If you don't like reading like me, if you do not like reading the written word, get the audible version. Get your headphones on. Play it while you're in the shower, when you're commuting to work, through an audio book. These types of books have absolutely changed the destiny of my life. Without these books, I was destined to work until I was about 70 years old, retire with almost nothing. These books changed my life. They rewired my brain. They've genuinely rewired my brain and changed my destiny in my life. So do not hinder your education. You have an unlimited spending cap on your education around money and finances. Unlimited. If you are hovering over a book and think mm, that's maybe a bit too expensive, you're hovering over a course that might be a bit too expensive, stop, just go and get it. The amount of value that you will get from that book, let's say the book costs 10 pounds, that value from that book could be tens, hundreds or millions of pounds. So for 10 pounds and a bit of your time reading a book, going through a course, you absolutely have to do it. You cannot put a cap on that. You cannot put a cap on that. You cannot dilly dally. You cannot hover over it and wonder. You just have to take action and go for it. When it comes to education, you need to keep on educating yourself on money and finances. This is one of the biggest impacts you can do. It's not a monetized impact where you can see, I read this book, I make this amount of money. It doesn't work that way. It's a rewiring of your brain. It's a changing of your destiny. That's what educating yourself in finances and money is all about. And that effect is humongous. It's absolutely crazy how good these books are. So get yourself reading those books. But these are the first few books that I've mentioned there. So your richest man in Babylon, rich dad, poor dad, psychology of money. Start there. That will start a snowball of other books that you may find interesting and that are useful to you. But those three books to me are the best. They're absolutely amazing books. So, so go and read them or listen to them, but get through them because they're amazing books. Step number eight is increase the amount of income streams you have. If you do not know anything about income streams, I'm going to educate you a little bit on that today. Most people think that income streams is you work and you make money. That's the one that the majority of us have experience in. We go to work, we make money. That's how it works. That's time for money. That is one form of income stream. But if you go and look at the types of tax that the government can tax you on, this is actually a key on telling you the different ways that you can make money. You have income tax, which we've just explained, time for money. You have a tax on your savings, interest that you receive from a bank. You receive a small amount of money and the money in your bank. There is a tax on that. That's another style of income that we can create. You have tax on dividends. This is the tax on the income that you receive from the stocks and shares that you own. So dividends tax. You have capital gains tax. This is a gain on the capital. So you buy something. It could be a stocks or shares. It could be a house. It could be something like that. You buy it and then you sell it for a higher profit. And this is the capital gain that you have gained on that. And you will be taxed on that thing. So again, the government is telling us that this is a way of making money. If they can think we can tax you for it, that's a way that you can make money as well. You have corporation tax. You can start your own business and make profits on that business. So these are a few little key tips that the government are telling us on different ways that we can make money. So I will reel through a few different ways that you can make money, a few different in income streams that you can make money on. First of all, you can do time versus money. You can get a job and get a salary and get paid. You can buy stocks and shares. You can get capital gains on the stocks and shares as they go up in value over time. General stocks and shares go up in value over time. 
So you can gain capital from those stocks and shares. In the same boat, you can get a dividend, a dividend from the stocks and shares that you get. A dividend is when you buy stocks and shares and a company doesn't know how to spend those profits. The majority of the profits that Coca-Cola get, they can give out as a dividend to their shareholders. You can buy a property. Again, you have the capital gains again. House prices often appreciate in value. So you can make a gain on your capital through the increasing value of that property. Also, it pays out a rental income from the tenant. The tenant of that property will pay a rent to you. So you also get another income stream that way. You can build a business. You can start a corporation. You might think this is absolutely nuts. That is going to be too much to take on board. It's really expensive. The start of cost of a business is too much. I'm telling you for a fact, the starting up of a business in 2024 is 50 pounds. That is it. You can start your business for 50 pounds and that is it. That's not a special offer. That's nothing a unique or oh, not click on my link below. It's 50 pounds. No, none of that. That's a government website. You start your business, you pay 50 pounds and you have a business. That is it. You've got a business. Simple as that. Depending on what your business is, you'll have different the barrier to entry through your business and generate revenue. Revenue is another income stream that we're talking about here. You can start a YouTube channel. You can create revenue. You can create an income stream from advertising. If you get monetized on YouTube, YouTube will put adverts in your videos and they will pay you some money for putting those adverts in your videos. That is another income stream that you can create. This could be relatively passive. If you put in all the hard work of creating a YouTube channel, putting those videos out there, those videos can be paying you passively for the rest of your life. Look, if you write a book, you put all the groundwork in at the start. Once you are finished and it's published, that is it. You can sit back. The book will sell itself. Much like writing a book, you can write a book, put all the effort into the groundwork at the start. And once you are finished and that book is published, that book can go on sale and can be selling for the rest of you, your life. If you have any maintenance, it will just keep on selling. And that is the kind of key what I'm talking about. This passive income stream that you can create of putting a lot of effort in early. And people can keep buying that product for the rest of your life. That could be a book. It could be a course or something like that, where you put a lot of early effort in and it can be sold for the rest of your life as a passive income stream. So there are absolutely tons of different income streams. If you become really creative, really thinking about it, the amount of income streams that you can create is just unthinkable. You cannot put a number on the amount of different income streams that you can create. So depending on your life, your skills, your expertise, really think about it. Is there anything that you can do where you put a lot of effort in early and then you stop, you publish the thing that you've been working on and that can be sold for the rest of your life. Really think about it. Put it in the comments below. Let me know, put your ideas of different styles of income streams in your comments below, but really get thinking is really open your mind and think outside the box of different forms of income streams. Network and surround yourself with like-minded people. People will think the same way that you do. Talk to your friends and family. See, do they think that your goals are realistic and something they would like to get on board as well? If not, they may point you in the direction of someone that someone else that they know that has very similar goals and you can get talking to them. Get talking, get networking, bounce ideas off of people. The amount of times I've gotten myself out of trouble or I've seen an opportunity based on the people that I know that have helped me get that opportunity or helped me get out of trouble is unreal. These are opportunities and situations that I could not benefit from off of my own knowledge. These people were there to help me. So bounce off of these people. There are so many people ready to get started and sometimes they just want someone else next to them say, you wanna get going too, let's go at it together. Let's go and do this. So get networking, get yourself to networking events, get talking to people, get on forums, get talking to like-minded people, but also consciously be aware of the people that are trying to stop you you realize that you are trying to network and someone is just trying to hold you back say you can't do this that's not possible that's too difficult you will not be able to do this then cast them aside just say i'm sorry i do not need this i need that positive energy i need someone who tells me i can do this reassures me and is there for me because i know i can do this and i do not need you bringing me down so you also need to network in two different types of ways you need to network with like-minded people but also step back from those people that are likely to hold you down the real people want you to succeed those real people that really love and care for you want you to succeed so they will push you and say yes you can do it they will encourage you and they will say you can do it 
So step number nine is network with like-minded people. Network with like-minded people, but also be conscious of people that want to hold you down and do not want to see you succeed. If you start noticing people do not want you to succeed, take a step back from those people and focus on the people that want you to succeed, that want to help you, that want to give you that boost. Step number nine is networking with like-minded people. Do you know any other steps that will be useful to people to help them becoming a millionaire? Please leave a comment in the description below of any other things that you think that people can do to become a millionaire. I'd love to get your ideas and your thoughts and get that out in a future video. Also, let me know what type of videos would you want to see? I'm quite early on on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out what people want to see. So please leave a comment in the video below. Let me know what type of videos you want to see going forward. If becoming a millionaire is not quite your cup of tea and all you want to do is retire early and enjoy your life, then watch this video on how you can retire early and enjoy a rich and fulfilling life.